zero. Hello? It's all right. Hello? 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 See, this is where we're pretending that I'm uh, locked out of the house at the beginning of the show, see? Because um, we've start we've used every room already. We used the laundry room. Yesterday we started at the desk. Now we're back. Can we cut to the kitchen camera too again, just to show? See, we're in a real house, everybody. Welcome to my house. Welcome to my house. <laughs> Oh my God, that actually worked. We planned that all day. Yeah. We're, attempting, we're attempting to demonstrate to the viewers at home that we're in an actual house. So what we do is we start, like some nights we'll start out in the laundry room or some nights we'll start out in the kitchen and then some nights we'll start out in the little edit bay or the bedroom. And tonight we thought, well, hey, it'd be funny if we do that thing where I show up at the house and I'm locked out of the house. It was all, it was completely fake. I wasn't really locked out of the house. I've, I've been here all day. We've been preparing for this show all day. You'll see in a minute how much preparation we've done. <laughs> it's going to be unbelievable. Andy Dick is here tonight. <laughs> And Shannon Elizabeth is here. Lonnie, no, don't cross the arms. <laughs> I'm just joking around. This is exciting. We're having a lot of fun. You know, we're, we're, we're going on a little hiatus. We're going on a little hiatus soon. Uh, we're going to be taking this our, our last week of an eight-week run. i got to say I'm really happy because Andy uh, Dick was our first guest on the show, and uh, on this show, and uh, he's here again tonight. And uh, look how everything has improved <laughs> since that first episode. We've got varnish on the bleachers now, so <laughs> the bleachers that you never see. But um, so we have a big audience tonight. Yeah. Shannon Elizabeth is here yeah. tonight. Yeah. Shannon Elizabeth and Andy Dick. And uh, Starbucks across the country today, were, uh, they were shut down for three hours. They shut them down for three hours today because they wanted us to miss them. Uh, <laughs> they were attempting to... What's that sound back there? What is that? Let's go find out what that is. I just, you know. Guys, can you just turn the volume down in here? We're trying to do a television show, okay? What's going on? What was that? I think it was the backpack. Was it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, see, I'm just in another room you never see. Who are those people, anyways? <laughs> Who are all those people? Okay, but uh, anyways, they shut down the Starbucks. Oh, here's another thing we're going to do in the hiatus. I want to tell you, we've got a lot to talk about here off the top, so I want to talk about quick. Andy's going to be showing up in a second. We're going on a hiatus. During the hiatus, um, we're going to go on this road trip. We're, gonna, we're planning on going to your town. We're going to go all over the country. We're going to do it in a Winnebago. Um, we're going to uh, have a high-speed line thing in the Winnebago. It's going to be cool. We're going to be able to email you and, uh, say, or, or put up a blog on the site and say, hey, you know, we're in your town, we're in Indiana, come down, say hi, and then we'll film you. We don't have a budget to do this, though. Um, so uh, what we've decided is we want to ask people out there if anybody owns one of these. <laughs> if you lend it to us, you will get to be on the show for... Uh, you know, roughly, you know, 10 to 15 seconds, you'll get to be on the show. <laughs> then we're going to borrow this. We're going to drive a thousand miles, and then we're going to give it back to you with a full tank of gas. So if you know anybody, <laughs> if you know anybody that owns one of these, a Winnebago, um, we're looking for one. We're going to, we'll put your name on the side of it, so uh, you'll you'll be seen on the internet. Your name will be seen on the internet. It won't be like Mitt Romney or anything like that. It won't be all <laughs> won't be all painted or anything like that. But you're like we'll duct tape a little piece of paper on the side of the of the Winnebago, lined paper, like an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, <laughs> lined, and we'll write your name on it. Uh, so that'll be good. Um, what's that? Oh, you want me to make coffee? Oh, someone's, see, someone's holding up a... The writer's strike is over now, so sometimes people that work here write things on, on, uh, on little... Can I see the card there, actually? Can I see that? Can you throw it over to me? By the way, we're going to be back soon. Uh, it's very exciting. We're going to be doing 20-minute shows when we come back. It's going to be really fun. Uh, so if you'd, like to, um, if you'd like the sound of that, uh, just send me an email. So if you like the idea of getting the shows over quickly, we're going to be doing 20-minute tw shows when we come back. We're doing an hour format now, but we're going to come back and do 20-minute shows. What's that? 22. 22 minutes, okay. <laughs> See, making coffee for our guests tonight. <laughs> well, I'm glad we went to this. 
<laughs> this is good. Yeah, I have the coffee machine here. But it seemed like the worst business uh, thing, the business plan in history to shut down, because Starbucks lost some money this year, and they decided to shut down for three hours. I don't know, why did they do that? To, 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 does anyone know why they did that? To their losses. To what? To make up their losses, because McDonald's was selling gourmet coffee. How does that make up for losses of closing for three hours? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to make some coffee for the guests tonight. Be a lot of fun. How many people are here tonight, anyways? Like two dozen? Or? A lot of people here tonight. We got a big crowd. We got a big crowd of people tonight. Okay, well, let's get the coffee heated up. I hear Andy Dick at the door. We're going to go get him. Shannon Elizabeth is here. Andy Dick is here. Stick around. Let's go to our first commercial break. Let's get Andy. And, uh, Andy, come on in. Tom, wait. What? W wait? What do you mean, wait? Just finishing up pissing in your bushes. What are you doing? They need. <sighs> Fine. Come on in here. What are you? Were you really doing that? Don't worry about come it. On, no, come on, come on. Pissing in the bushes. Andy Dick, right here. We'll be right back. I'm always joking. Always joking. Ah. Andy Dick, everybody. This is your dog, Andy? How long have you had a, had a dog for? Is it new or? Andy Dick is here, everybody. Wait a minute. How long have you had a dog for, Andy? Up here, up here. Andy Dick, everybody. Wait a minute, that's so what's your dog's name? Sue. Sue. A boy named Sue. A boy named Sue. Like the Johnny Cash song. Oh yeah. Hey, you now is that a, a pit bull or? Yeah, it's a pit bull. Well, it's great to have you uh, have you here tonight. So good to see you. Yeah, yeah. You, you were here on the first you. episode of the show. Yes, I was. Yeah. And you were yeah, here uh, you were here another time yep. too. But... <laughs> yes. What happened that what, what happened that other time you came here? We we never saw you that time. Wait, now you have your whole crew here here yeah. tonight too. Um, well, I always have a bunch of people. Oh, the crew. No, stay up there. Stay right there. Was this Good not boy. a good idea to stay. get the dog? No, Are we just going to sit and stare at the dog all night? Or I love him really? so. Look at how pretty he is. Yeah. Good boy, but you got to stay right there. Stay yeah. right there or you are going to go off camera. So what, you've got a reality stay show right crew here tonight? We've got a bunch of extra cameras here? I have a new here. show yeah. on VH1 yeah. called You Don't Know Dick. Is this the first time this has been announced? or? Uh, yeah, publicly, I think so. Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah, 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 I don't think people. We haven't even made a trade announcement, so yeah. nobody even knows about this. No yet, one knows. Know. Wow, it's called "You Don't Know Dick," and every episode, don't drink my diet coke. Is this a real dog, or is this just some <laughs> dog for the reality show? So the people. Like... No, no, no. It really. My friend rescued it from a homeless woman. Yeah. And brought it to my house because I've been asking all my friends. Uh, to help me find a rescue dog that uh -huh. is also a watchdog, like the dogs you have. But I is it love just the dog? You just got the dog for the reality show. No, 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 so no, people no, say, no. Oh, Andy likes animals. No, 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 no. I need a dog to protect me. Right, boy. You want to bite his head off? You want to bite his head off? Did, have you had dogs before? Or? Yes, of course, my yeah. whole life. Good okay. boy. Hey, look, we got a guy here calling. A guy who wants to talk. What to does Let's he take need? a Skype call real quick. What does he need? Hey, how are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing real good. Really good. Yeah. I had seven things I wanted to talk about off the top of the show, and I forgot every single one of them. <laughs> something about a Winnebago, something about Starbucks being uh, closed today. Well, what, what's going on with that? I don't really know, actually. They're we talked closing. about it all day. Apparently, there was some sort of point I was supposed to make. They're closing <laughs> to teach their employees yeah. how to... They want, they want the employees... Yeah. To uh, to be re-energized, right. so they're they're. Uh, are you checking your Are you checking your no, phone? No, I'm turning right now? it off. I thought oh. it was on silent. It, okay. Now it is. God, this is just you know we got a dog. Chaotic. Here. Yeah. Okay. What well, you have a question the way for Andy? We really like it. Yeah, I want to ask Andy. I know he's worked with uh, a lot of different stars, you know, through his time on TV and uh, his movies. Uh, what was it like working with Jessica Simpson? Oh, well, there's a really uh, nice, a good well, question. Well, what yeah. what was it like working with her or her boobies? <laughs> Both, actually. I read his lips. I like that. Because like, we couldn't hear him. Uh, she's sweet. She's just a down home country girl who is. She's just a sweet girl. Was it a nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> a little bit of a nightmare, probably. No, honestly, she's just so sweet that you, you, you overlook a lot of really? things. Like yeah. what? Like just like. 
She's, she's what do you a overlook? sweet girl. What I do can't you say. I've done two movies with her. Uh, I like her. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You think you'll they'll do more with her or you know, if she keeps paying me, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll keep showing up. If she lets me grab her boobies more. Does she actually let you do that? She or? let me grab them. Really? Mm -hmm. She does? On, in the movie? Didn't or she, boy. Off camera. Didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, let's take See? a phone call. Hey, you're on the air with Andy right now. Hey, Andy and Tom, how are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Good. Oh, we, don't, we can't see her. This person's actually paying attention, though. They know that yeah. we're both here, and obviously the sound and video are working yeah, perfectly for that person. Great. Yeah, go ahead. You know, by the way, this hey, is... Hey, Andy, I yeah. was... Why don't you and Tom please do an end independent film together? Oh, we're working on it. Hey, yeah. I've, I've, no, no, no kidding. We've, uh, no, we've got, there's a movie that my friend wrote called Division Three. It's a football movie yeah. that uh, there's a nice part for Tom in it. Or and we could just release this. <laughs> What we're doing we right really now. We really could. Yeah. We could release this on Honestly, one screen. Honestly, we could just roll the cameras yeah. for an hour and a half and we have a movie. We yeah, really yeah. could. Well, tell, us, tell me more about the reality show, because we got Shannon Elizabeth coming tonight, too. <sighs> Is she on a reality show? What no, no, I? but I mean, so we, we got we to gotta talk about everything So he fast. has to move? We got to talk about, yeah, he's he got to move. You got to move over there. Stay right there. So what, what's, what's, your, what's your show going to be? It's uh, called You Don't Know They're just going to follow you around? What just are you going to do? Just following me around, you know, in my dumb life. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? You're going to, like, uh, you were on TMZ again this week? Why, what did I do this time? That was probably a rerun. Your manager, Max, who's here, was, like, putting his hand in, in front of the camera. I saw the whole thing. Huh? Do you yeah. not go there? I go there every day. You do? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Why? No, I just, I'm addicted to it. Really? Yeah, I just, I find it interesting. How did I look? Where are First you of going? All, Where are you going? God, we, we should have left the dog in the car. Can you take him? Yeah, take the dog. It's just take him out. It's, it's just a, ridiculous. I, I mean, because we can't, we Marshall, can't stop I'm looking sorry. at it. Here you go. Yeah. Um, or, or put put the dog over in the audience. Wait, there. why do you I love like TMZ? dogs? But I mean, what do you? Why do you love? Can I have a little more? Yeah. Espresso. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I just I like the internet, so I, I enjoy people that update their website every day, and there's always oh, something new and interesting. Oh, you go there. on TMZ the website. Yeah, the website. Yeah, yeah, oh, the website. Because yeah. I do watch the TV show. Yeah. Hey, you're on the air with Andy right what now. What do you need, young man? Hi, Tom. Hey, Andy. Hello, yeah, sir. From on? Canada. I heard it. He says yeah. Andy like a Canadian. Am I right? Uh, how can you even tell? I don't even I don't even hear it seriously. But because I can tell. Am I right? <laughs> I had a question for Andy. Um, yeah. I saw some uh, skits of you on uh, on YouTube where you're doing a Tom quite accurate Tom Green impersonation, uh, bugging people on the street and whatnot. It must have been from a few years ago. I was wondering if you and Tom were friends before that. Um. Oh, and we got to take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we, we weren't friends because yeah. we no, didn't know each other. No, we do have to take a commercial other. break, actually. Commercial I was just joking. Break. We can answer the question real quick. Yeah, we, yeah. We, but we weren't friends we only were, because we didn't we, know we each other. We had met before, yeah. though, right? Oh, I always admired him. I think we've thing. become friends since. Well, real good friends. Yeah. But, but I've, I always admired him. I, I, it was an homage to him. I, w I wasn't even making fun of him. Yeah, that was fun. I, that was I, so I fun. And then he came day. on the show, and he was being me, and I was being him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You had done the impression first. And you did a very gay version of me. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, or you is know. that? I don't know. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stick around. People around the world will want a taste of me. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I need a light. Put up the dukes and fight. I'm going to rock the mic so I can feel all right. Dick is here, everybody. Andy Dick. Come on. Right? Right. Come on, everybody. Come on, Andy Dick. Shut up. Maybe we got to, like, sh should we dance around or something, Andy? Should no, we, like, we're doing shake our great. Heads? The really? show I, tonight. I I've been doing this thing lately where I've been flailing a lot on the show. Don't. Like, last night I started doing some flailing. Don't, the night don't. Before. You know no? who does that? R who? Weird Al Yankovic. Really? Yeah. He you does know? this thing called, I think he calls it crazy arms. Yeah. And he just lets yeah. them go. <laughs> and no, it's, it's even worse. They, please don't. Oh, God. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Just a lot of flip. And then he the, gets the blood going, gets the adrenaline going. Yeah, but we're, we're doing great. <laughs> no, we don't have to turn this into like some sort of like, you know, laid back thing. Maybe we should like, <laughs> we're doing great. Look. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, let's pick up the pace a little bit. Fine. You know? Come on. Man. What do we need? Come on. Yeah. Now you're. <laughs> I sprained That's my neck on Monday doing that. Don't I do did. It I sprained anymore, my or, or Friday actually. It was Friday because I spent the whole weekend holding my neck. I'm like, why is my neck hurting? And I realized it was because I was shaking my head around in my li living room. And there was like three people here that night. Yeah. So I was shaking my head around for three people. Don't. <laughs> and that includes the home audience too, by the way. <laughs> we look. Okay, hey, you're on the air right now with Andy Dick right now. Hello. Yo, how's it going? Good, good. I have a. I have a question for Andy, but I guess it could be for both of you. Um, are you are you an Air Force pilot? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I have a discount headset. Oh, is that what that is? It looks a, looks pretty expensive it's, to me. Yeah. Looks, looks better than our equipment. Looks like. It. <laughs> do you think Do you think doing drugs made you more funny or less funny overall? Let me field that question. No. What is okay. that guy popping in there? What is that head? <laughs> Did he do that or you guys? Uh, I don't know. I don't think we can do that. Yeah. How, did you do that, sir? Yeah, I don't know. Um, do you want to answer that question? Do you feel I comfortable? Have, it is a two, oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Have you two, ever, you have done drugs before, right? Every once in a blue while. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the thing is, it's a twofold, uh, there's a twofold answer because it has helped and it has definitely hurt. You can't. You can hardly, the, the, the viewing audience can't tell when it helps. Yeah. Because you're not going to say, hey, guess what? I smoked a little pot, I, which I didn't, by the way, tonight. Yeah. I wouldn't have minded. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody seems to have had it. Then. Well, maybe we'll get some during the break for you. Oh, well, great. But anyhow. <laughs> Lonnie, uh, you got a, some, right? This is what I got tonight, a little espresso. <laughs> No, well, that's Espresso good. I think that's probably a good thing to probably Anything not, right? Anything that can stimulate you, and sometimes that's just adrenaline. Yeah. Sometimes it's just your excitement for being on your show. Yeah. I remember the first time I was on your show, uh, I, I think I was drinking whiskey. Yeah. Your other show, not yeah. this one. Yeah. The one that was on MTV. You okay. Had the second one. Oh, yeah, that's the one where you broke that. my friend's uh, leg or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> And you tackled, his, you tackled the co-host? He challenged me. Yeah. Don't rattle the bull. Yeah, you broke his thumb. Because you'll get his balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't, I'm sorry. Don't rattle the bull, you'll get his balls. <laughs> What's that mean? Nothing. <laughs> um, but so, like I said, you, if, you can, if, if you can use drugs responsibly, go ahead. I, Is this I, really what you're saying right now to the kids out there at home? I'm, I'm just saying pot, smoking a little pot and, and, and alcohol is a drug. Yeah. And I'm not telling, I'm not saying kids, I'm saying, you know, people over 21. I yeah. hope he was over 21. Yeah. And, uh, but you, you've got to keep your eye on it because it can get out of hand and, yeah. then, and then turn against you and then work against you and then it doesn't work at all. You're always pretty open about all this stuff, right? Like on the show, what's what's going on in the show? Anything crazy? What's what's crazy happened on your reality show so far? How long have you been well, filming for? Anything? Ridiculous my reality show, I, I I've been trying to show people that I'm not all about I'm using drugs and drinking all the time, and then the first few days I was drinking. Yeah. So I let myself down. Yeah. Really? Well, that's uh, probably sort of. Uh, I was nervous. The thing is, is that I use drugs. No, or, and when I say drugs, I, I sometimes mostly just mean drinking. There's a real cute girl. We got to get to her. Oh yeah, we'll talk to her um, in a I, I use it to calm down. I use it to calm down and, and uh, calm my nerves. I, I, I get, I do get very nervous. But you're not going to turn the the reality show into kind of like a Breaking Bonaduce no, kind no, of thing, you know, where you're no. purposely getting wasted every day. Oh no, 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 no. No, I, I, I'm. I'm, I'm trying very hard to purposely not get wasted. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like I took on a reality show to sober me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's it's not good, working. That's a good idea. Okay. Hey, uh, Haley Douglas, how are you? Good, how are you guys? Very good, very good. You're on the good. air with well, Andy I'm, Dick. We're doing good now that we're looking at you. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay. You yeah. got to get a better camera, by the way, baby. Yeah. Anyway. You have a quick question for yeah, Andy? Or? You yeah. have this, like, crazy reality show ago where you, like, picked your new assistant. Yeah, it was and called The Assistant. I, yeah. I was seriously in love with that show. It's so crazy and, like, ridiculous. I want to know what happened to that girl that you chose. She looks like you, first of all. Her name was Melissa, and somebody literally just asked me about her tonight. At, my manager asked if I still talked to her. I think she moved. She got a job. The, the prize was a car, a new wardrobe, a cell phone, and a job at MTV, 
which after three months she got fired right. from. <laughs> and I think since then I, saw, I ran into her folding clothes at Abercrombie and Fitch and then nice. she moved back home to wow. Tennessee or something. Sounds like, like it worked out for her well. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth is here. Let's yeah. see. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. So I got to move out. Yeah, I'll get her. And we're going to take a commercial right now, right? So, hello, Shannon. Hi, how are you? Come on in. Thank you. We're going, are, are we going to commercial now? or I think we're going to a commercial. How are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming. Thank Good you very much for coming. Good to see you again. Come on in. Thanks for having to, me. Uh, Shannon Elizabeth, everyone. We'll be right back. <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth. And we are back, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon Elizabeth is here. Yeah. And Andy did. Yeah. We're making coffees. <laughs> We're making coffees because all the Starbucks are closed. I know, yeah. I know. It's horrible. I drink chai teas from there, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Did yeah. You, were you having the, the DTs? Were you detoxing? Were you like shaking? And uh, uh, they closed from three to five, right? I know. I had yeah. to buy like ten of them and take them home and yeah. make sure that I had them in stock. Yeah. Yeah, they, that's what they're doing. They're punishing us, right? They're I know. punishing What's us. Wrong with they're basically well, saying, you know, they want you to miss miss it. Well, I think we should keep giving them a lot of press, and then we get free Starbucks for life in our house or something. Yeah. No, we're gonna like, send. Even like a barista comes over and makes them every morning for us. But we're gonna send dozens of uh, new customers to them. Dozens. <laughs> dozens. From this. Awesome. So wait, now you're on Dancing with the Stars now. Is that, that's, yeah. that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty exciting. Have you been? Uh, have you been started that yet? Have you been dancing? We started rehearsing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wait, how long have you been doing that for? Uh, I've had about maybe four rehearsals. So Is that far. hard to do? Yeah. Is it fun? It's frustrating because I'm competitive. I'm a perfectionist. I want to do it all as best I can. So are, it's frustrating. Are you a good dancer? Oh, I mean, I'm okay, I guess. Yeah. You know, we'll see. Really? Have you done a lot of dancing before? When I was little. Yeah. When I was little, I did like ballet, tap, jazz, stuff like that. But I mean, it's been forever and not ballroom. You dancing. have a partner in it? I do have a partner. Do you, is he? Is he? A, it's a. It's, He's it's a, a pro. A good guy or? Uh, Derek Huff. Yeah. Yeah. He was there, on there, there last he is year. Like, oh, look at that guy. Wow. Yeah. We, you can see his picture up there. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I, look at him. Look at him. I <laughs> dance that's got to be him. Yeah. And that's what I hear. Andy would dance. Have you danced? Andy probably has danced with him, I bet. I might have. That's what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, he's great. He's a, he's choreographing the whole thing, and we get along really well, so it's been fun. Cool, cool. No, wait, no, no. Have you, have, are you a fan of the show? I am. Yeah? Yeah, I've watched it for about the last five seasons. I think I only missed the first season of it. We have a poker uh, table on the roof of tonight. And we nice gotta, segue we, there. We, yeah. Just jump right into yeah. it. <laughs> we we'll, we'll just, we'll just, just jump, jump around here. I've been drinking coffee since noon. I have so. a dog, too. Did you know that? You oh, were. yeah. <laughs> What kind of dog do you have? I have four rescues that are all like mixes. Four? Yeah. And they're all mutts? They're all mixes, yeah. I'm all a mutt. rescues. I know. Would you rescue me? Probably not. <laughs> bitch! I knew she was. We, a we bitch. brought Andy's dog in here, but then it we, we I know, I know. So Come I joined here, baby, in the, snip her the crotch. Room. Oh my god. I have what? two dogs here too, actually. What's that? I don't know what he said. He's speaking another to... language. Well, let's take a phone call then. Hello, you're on the air right now. We'll talk more about I want to talk about poker though, because you're like like a poker, uh, you're the best am poker gonna, player in Los Angeles, am I right? Get to play poker. Yeah. Which are you? Are you going to play poker on the roof or not? Well, because because we were cause thinking maybe you could teach Andy and I I'll to play, to play yeah. poker because you've won okay. like hundreds of thousands of dollars playing poker in the last year, right? For real. Uh, something yeah. like that. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, no. She goes down to Vegas like three times a month and wins like millions of dollars. Are you serious? Millions. Yeah. Millions. Are you serious? Not millions, but I. Do okay, I guess. What is the trick? Awesome. What is the trick? You wear a cowboy practice. hat and sunglasses, right? <laughs> I practice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I work with coaches and I I play a lot. You just have to get a lot of time at the tables and see a lot of hands and yeah. just be in the situations to really learn what you want to do. Did you grow up playing poker? Or? Not really. I mean, when I was little, my parents played like penny poker, but it was dealer's choice. It wasn't Texas Hold'em. Okay, so Texas Hold'em they play. No Limit Texas Hold'em is what you guys are talking about, but I've been playing actually all the horse games lately. Horse games? I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like it's Limit. It's Omaha. 
high low, stud, stud high low, See? and raz. See, I don't even know how to. So play. at the World yeah. Series, I want to play more of the limit games. Yeah, yeah. So wait, now you, how much did you win really totally in the last couple of months? You've won like you know like I don't know like, like half a million bucks or something like that, right? No. No, I read about it on Wikipedia. Okay. <laughs> Because they're always right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I read something about that I was dating some naval guy at one point, and I mean, like, there's all kinds of weird stuff on there that I've never heard of before, but apparently I've been doing it. But what are these? Are these like celebrity tournaments that you no. play in? How's it work? You're, I've you're been playing doing the like pro circuit. Pro yeah. circuit. You're yeah. a professional poker player. Well, I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. Yeah, and see, Andy, you were in a poker show, right? I was in yes, a poker show, too, one of those poker shows. I was shows. on the, yeah. that, poke, that celebrity poker show. Yeah, know. and we yeah, both that lost. One. We they, both you know lost. what happened? I got so drunk that in the, the first hand, I guess, they, they came, they, during the commercial break, they came in, the producer came in, leaned into me and said, you need to go all in and get out. Shocking. I was, oh my God. And so I went all in thinking, maybe I'll still win. Yeah. I went all in and lost. And, and, and then I had to, and it was in New Orleans, and I had to fly back a month later for a court date. Really? <laughs> A month later. Did you make it back in time? Or? I went back. Yeah, I made it back. Okay, we have a guy on Skype calling in now for Shannon. Cool. Here. True hey, story. Uh, you're on the air right now. Say hi to Shannon. Hey, Shannon. Hi, how are you? <coughs> Pretty good. How are you? I'm oh, look, good, he's thanks. The, he's the host of Match Game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a Gene Rayburn microphone right there. Huh? Yeah. So, uh, go ahead. Do you have a quick question? or? Yeah, I just wanted to ask Shannon, well... You guys pretty much went into it. Like, wh what got you started into poker? Um, I was raising money for my charity. I had Animal Rescue. And um, just by going on some of the poker shows, you would just get money just for appearing. So I figured, even though I didn't know how to play, I would just go on and try to learn and do my best. And eventually, after doing that a few times, I kind of just I got hooked. I, I realized what it was that people liked about the game and wanted to keep playing. You have your own Animal Rescue? This is something that you I do, you run I do. It's operate? called Animal Avengers. Oh. Yeah. You have an animal rescue. I yeah. do. Oh, so these these four dogs that you have, you're gonna you're you're fostering. No, these them. are mine. Don't oh, you have really? six That's dogs? what I've always done. Do you have eight these. dogs or something? At one time I did, yeah. And they kinda come and go and I'm actually well, where do they go? Meet my dog. Where <laughs> do we please get where do they Sue go? out here? They they go to new homes. Really? Oh, like, okay. friends will come over so they and say, I in. love this dog and if it's not one that, that's one oh. of my personal dogs and I'm like you can have the dog. Oh, really? I want to yeah. get her Andy, wait, what are you doing over there? You, are you I want to get her opinion of my dog. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> she, she seems like now she's an expert. And <laughs> I, am, I, I love my dog so much, but I'm actually a tiny bit afraid of him. Yeah. Andy got his dog, of course, for his reality but, show. No, you know what I got him for? No, I didn't. I got him for my sobriety. I want, because I'm afraid to get drunk around yeah, him. Yeah. Because he'll just go right for, he'll rip my lungs out. Right. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to take a quick him? commercial break. We'll be back. We've got to take a break. Yeah. We'll be back with yeah. Andy and, and my dog will be Stick here. around. Yeah. Yeah. Commercial. Yeah. That's the dog right there that Andy Dick got for his reality show. Did you see that big schlong? I did. Is your dog fixed? Not yet. I, I've got to unscrew those nuts. You need to fix your dog. I've for got sure. To. Oh, I know. Yeah. He's Where did trying you get to hump me at this point. <laughs> but don't you like that? Oh, baby. <laughs> baby. Um, where'd you get him? Okay, my friend brought him over and said, I rescued this dog from a homeless woman. She, she was just walking around with this dog. Yeah. I guess. Did the, she not want it? You stole it. You stole her. the dog. Steal him. <laughs> no, she couldn't. She was homeless. She couldn't take. She couldn't feed him. It, it, he's still malnourished. Okay. If you look at him, he's. You can see his ribs. He's he's skinny. So when you get food, do you feed yourself first or your dog first? Oh, I eat the dog food first. What are you talking about? No, <laughs> I actually give him. I give him my steak. I I ordered him. And you eat the dog three, food. Three. Yeah. I ordered him three burgers tonight at dinner. Wow. Three, three burger patties. Did Is you, it okay, by the way, to give them You meat? should give them to him raw. 
It's yeah. better for oh, them to okay. eat it raw. I knew that. I, yeah. I instinctually knew that. So you're pretty excited about <laughs> Dancing with the Stars, are you? Yeah, I am. Are you going to come and root for me and cheer and vote? Uh, yeah, yeah. I need absolutely. you to vote for me. Yeah, for sure. I guess the first time in my life, I'm like, you've got to vote. Yeah, no, absolutely. Look, we got a caller here. Hey, how are you? You're on the air. <laughs> you're so good at that. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> Hey, look, there's a light. Yeah. Oh, I, maybe I should push it. Yeah, yeah it doesn't here. work. Oh, wait a Good job. Stop here. <laughs> Had too much coffee to know thing. So wait. While you're pressing buttons, can I tell you, can, I mean, can I please ask you to, to join me this Thursday night at the Acme Theater? Mm. You know, I'm just inviting you. You don't have to say yes. My son and I, Lucas, he's here in the audience, I think. Lucas and I are doing a show. You're not sure if your th son's here? Your son's not here I tonight. I don't know where he's. Your son Sometimes is not here tonight. Sometimes he just tonight. leaves. No, no, you, had a son. you know, I'm not his fucking father. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We just lost Milwaukee again. <laughs> <laughs> again! <laughs> but listen, uh, it's, it's Lucas, myself, Greg Fitzsimmons. Is he here? Well, they all leave me, whatever. Let's and talk about all the people that aren't here for a few minutes. No, I'm just saying it's this Thursday and it's a comedy show at the Acme. You can be my guest. So wait, do you stay in touch with Kevin Smith? Uh, I see him occasionally. Yeah. I'm actually at poker tournaments. That must have been pretty fun uh, making that movie, American yeah. Pie, that little movie that you made. Yeah, there. well, he had nothing to do with that, but oh, you, yeah, can, that's you right. can keep jumping around oh, if you like. I'll keep right. up. Was that fun making that movie? He didn't make that one? He didn't yeah. make that one. Oh, no, he didn't. One. Who made that one? Not him. Oh, right, were right, right. Were you in a Kevin Smith movie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Jay and Silent Bob. That's Smith right, yeah. That's oh, you were? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Okay. That's the I one you made. I never saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> I knew that he didn't make that one, actually. Yeah. You yeah. messed up. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all. It's written right here on the card, see? <laughs> it says American Pie, Kevin Smith, right there. Were you the and one? And worked with Kevin Smith. Yeah. So there, you've got to read the, the in-between words, too, to really get the gist oh, of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I actually don't read. Yeah. <laughs> Were you the one? We in had American a guy Pie? from his website send in a rap yesterday. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yesterday. What's the rap? Uh, I don't know if we have it loaded up. Some guy from Kevin Smith's website sent a rap. <laughs> did he do all that? Yeah, it's not probably not. Wor well, it was pretty good actually. Well, where I was is gonna it? say it's not worth looking at again, but it actually probably. Oh, is. you already showed it. Yeah, we showed it yesterday. So I gotta watch yesterday. Yeah, you got, yeah. So why is this on today's? Uh, honestly, I don't Who know. Who makes these things? I, uh, some guy over there. <laughs> Some yeah. guy. Yeah. Were you the one in Your American son. Pie with the um, with that stuff on the with that, the whipped cream? Was that you? That was a different movie. American Pie. That was a different movie. Can I have some more? Can I have some more espresso? The, I remember the whipped cream, but that wasn't you with the whipped cream. Though. That was a whole different movie. I do. What movie not was the whipped cream? That was um, the, what was it? Cars. That was or American something? Pie. I don't know. No, it wasn't. I think I know my movie. What the was one it with the whipped cream. It was Varsity Blues. Blues. That's what it was. Varsity that Blues. Was a, oh, right. you were so yeah. good in that. Varsity Blues. <laughs> Varsity Blues was the movie with the whipped cream. Uh, that was the movie with not you though, with the whipped cream. No, okay, it was Ali Larder. <laughs> I've worked with him. Yes, we have. Yeah. No, but you'll never work with me. You're right on that <laughs> one. <laughs> We did a show Even together, right? We did a show playing. together. It was a, like an improv yeah. comedy show. Right? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, we played Vikings and all this stuff. We did. Yeah, we did. Okay, well let's 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 take a phone call here. Let's just it's try to. It's still not working. Hey, uh, you're on the air right now with Shannon Elizabeth and Andy Dick. Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi. How are you doing? Hi. How are you doing, Tom? Uh, Shannon and uh, Andy. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? You don't have to talk have, to Andy. I have a, I have a question for Andy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? I, I have a question for you, Andy. Um, I'm a really big fan of uh, news radio. Your character, <laughs> Matthew. Thank you. And, uh, oh, what do you want to make out with him? Is that what your the tongue is? That you did on that show. <laughs> what about what the what was the question? <laughs> the stunts that you did on news radio. I was wondering, on an average, how many times did you have to do the stunts? A pro on average, probably about once an episode, because sometimes I would do two or three in, in, in one episode. I did stunts, and I did my own stunts. I was just thinking about one of the stunts I did the, a couple days ago. It was a Christmas episode. Co Phil Hartman was there, and the, there was coins. There was a Santa Claus throwing coins in a, in a pot, and then somebody knocked them over, probably my character, and then I slip on them like ice, and I... I twisted my ankle doing that stunt. There was a lot of stunts on that show, was there? <laughs> I don't remember any stunts. No, I, had, I, I did a lot of stunts. You crash into things and flip out. and Flipped, yeah, yeah, crashed absolutely. into things, and yeah. I always did my own. 
and a lot of times I hurt myself. But you know, anything for comedy, right? Yeah. Now wait, back to Dancing with the Stars for a second. Yeah, I, I didn't even know he was an actor. Who is this guy? <laughs> she hates me because I said we don't know who. I, I know who you are, man. Yeah, so. yeah. No, no, you're practicing all day. Uh, l um, let's actually explore this for a second because well, people it's up really. To us. We yeah. can. We we've been rehearsing about five hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, and you, where do you go? Do you go to a dance studio yep. around here? We rent out a dance studio and uh, keep it all very private. And, and how long does the practicing go on for before the show actually starts shooting? Well, they've given us a month to start getting ready, and then once the show starts, we have a week to learn a dance. Do you interact with the other contestants, like Adam Carolla is doing it? We have a little bit because we all just went and did Oprah the other day, so oh, that's yeah? where we all met for the first time. Oh and wow. And uh, we're all going to be kind of at a welcoming party tomorrow night so we can get to know each other a little bit better. Was that, had you been on Oprah before? No. That, no, had, that's to, that had to have been pretty exciting. Yeah, huh? it was fun. Was she nice? Cool. Yeah, she was really nice. Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to take a commercial. Maybe we can talk about Oprah when we come back. All right. Yeah, talk about <laughs> Oprah. We'll be back with uh, Shannon Elizabeth. Andy Dick is here. And uh, stick around. We're going to play some poker on the roof. I'm actually leaving. Drink some. Oh, are you leaving? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> stick around. Okay. <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth, is, and you brought, this is going to be great for the show, because we, we have our eBay auction, we uh, ask our celebrity guests to bring in things, we sell the stuff on eBay, and then we keep the money. Awesome. And well, I uh, wanted to support you. I just cleaned out a bunch of closets, so. Oh, my gosh. I brought you a TV. An actual television. An actual yeah. working television. You might actually. It's just, not even broken. You might just be able to use this for the channel here. Yeah. It's a, it's a monitor or something like that. I brought some. Uh, you sure you don't need this? This no? looks like a pretty good TV. Yeah, I know. I, I I already like said goodbye to it and everything. Okay, right. we'll sell that on eBay. <laughs> okay. I brought like you know the little armbands that you used to wear for like working out. Really? I don't... Oh yeah, yeah. You know. I work out quite some a bit. VHS tapes because yeah. those are very in right what now. What is this exactly? <laughs> It's, it's like a radio, it, or yeah, it's like a yeah, a radio, okay, okay. AM, and, FM, and and a, and a blank VHS cassette. There's like four of those, so it could be a package oh, deal. Oh my gosh, that's good. This is great. Yeah, okay. you know, like oh my god, there's more stuff. There's okay. there's tons and tons of stuff over here. Wow. Like, a cassette Walkman, you know. Okay, yeah. yeah a cassette it, Walkman, Shannon Elizabeth's very own <laughs> cassette Walkman. Look, this was from the Swordfish premiere. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Kevin Smith direct that or? No. I don't know, I'm just joking. <laughs> you know, it's like a, when you put batteries in, it works. It's like an alarm clock calculator thing. Oh my gosh! Thing. Wow, yeah, this is yeah. going to be great. We're going to get some new Swag. hard drives. We're going to get some new hard drives around here. Well, All we, kinds of stuff. Well, we really appreciate this. Of this course. is good. This is good. This is going to be good. I have something for eBay. You have something for eBay too? Is this a live show? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Is it live? Yeah. yeah. Tell about, me right now. Tell us after what you got for eBay, after the show's over. It's got to be something that people will actually buy so it makes money. I don't like they're going to buy that crap. A TV? I bought a TV. I'm actually going to put a bid on that tonight. <laughs> people will buy it. Is it be... really a live show right, right now? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, we're live on the internet. Yeah. yeah. I have nothing to sell. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, now we got a poker table on the roof. Okay. And we got a new ladder. You want to maybe show Andy and I how to play poker real quick uh, before the show was over? Okay, let's go upstairs. We'll go upstairs on the roof. We got a new ladder. Shannon Elizabeth is going to show Andy and I how to play I'll poker. You. Okay, come on, Fo follow are you, me. Come are you on okay? Over here. Uh, come on over here. Got to be careful. This is our new ladder. Watch you don't trip on this yep. table here. Up here. And uh, we'll just go up on my roof here. Oh, yeah. this is more yeah, it's like a new stairs. ladder. We just got this. You got to kind of step over here. Oh, so careful here. You hold go this. Ahead. Yep. 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 There you go. There we are. And uh, wow. yeah, so we've got. You uh, sure you won't fall through the roof? <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. It's Where do possible. You sit? You okay. So we've got. Uh, I don't know. We've got cards. This is like a little right? scary. What exactly? Uh, See, I used to play seven car, card stud. What if I just teach you a chip trick? Whoa. A chip trick, okay, that sounds good. See yeah. if these, I'm trying to see if these are sticky or not. It's nice just up here, down. isn't it? It's really nice yeah. up here. Yeah. What else do you do up here? You know, just, uh, out of the way. well, you know, we've, not much, really. It's we really sometimes light. do jumping jacks. We've thrown chickens in the pool before, but really, That's really it's mean. a new thing. The ladder is that a new is thing. Pretty. Chickens in the pool. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so this is the chip trick. You hold three of them in your hands. Okay. You want to flip one to start it off. Uh-huh. You separate it, 
It's gonna be hard to do with these, they're light. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Wow, look at that. Oh, you wow. turn it and you put it back in the middle. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that. Dude, that was look. incredible, baby. Flip. Wow. That is that turn. is sexy, incredible. So oh when you're at the table and you're goodness. bored and you're waiting, you know, you and can like do chip tricks. And that's gotta be a good way to kind of uh, psych out the opponent, right? If they see you doing that, they know they're you're like, serious. Yes, very much so. I don't, I, I don't even <laughs> really have any idea what you did there. Okay, so is, what are some other tw what are some other tricks you do to psych out the the opponent? You wear sunglasses, right? I wear sunglasses. I wear a hat. A lot of people don't believe in that, but um, it's allowed. And as long as it's allowed, I'm gonna hide any tell I might possibly have. Yeah, because people because I don't know if I have a tell. But everybody thinks they can read tells, and even if you're not giving off a tell, and they think they can read a tell, and they react to that, it could screw you. What's over. a tell? That's like giving something away with your eyes, or? Well, sometimes it's like a vein bulging in your head that you don't know about. That's why a lot of people wear hats. Oh, okay, really? And I mean, there's things up here that you can't control, like the minute you look. Some people, they can see if you have a good hand, supposedly, your pupils dilate a little bit. Oh, wow, wow. So there's weird stuff like that that people think they know how to read. Does everyone wear sunglasses, all good poker players? No, not everybody does. That almost sounds like Some people are very sure that they don't need to, and I'm not one of those, so I wear them anyway. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So what, yeah. what, what, now what are you doing here? Now These are you... very old cards. Are they're, they? They're very clumsy, yeah, because I'm having a hard time, like, hold on, let me try to shuffle these good. Yeah. So you, look at the con you have the confidence of a professional uh, poker player. These are bad cards. I can do it. I can shuffle real well. Well, I can too, but these are not new cards. I, I, that's, the, that's all I can do. I can't play well. Can, can you get a shot of me shuffling? Yes. Watch. My mom taught me this. Oh, you're right. Yeah, see, they're bad cards. So really, oh, though, you, did, you did recently win like $125,000 or something like that playing poker. Is that right? Yeah, in the Heads Up event. It's actually this weekend. That's got to be pretty exciting, though, when you win a big pot like that. Is that pretty uh, ridiculous? The whole Heads Up event was pretty amazing for me. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was very unexpected. I didn't think I'd make it past round one, so. Yeah. I mean, it, it just, it was fun. It was kind of bittersweet in the end, though, because it, the end didn't go as well as I had hoped. Really? Okay. But, um, but it was fun. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay, so what's... These are these are a little better, but Watch not much. This. Watch this, boys and girls. <laughs> See, I did it right when the camera moves. <laughs> Very talented. This is fun. You know, we have 30 seconds left here. You know, we can, so we're just kind of goofing around on the roof. Do you, do you know the, do you know the rules of Texas Hold'em? Uh, I do. Sort of, but I kind of, I, I used to always play seven card stud. I never really was that good. Oh, at look, this is the name? worst hand you can have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's great. considered the worst hand in, in <laughs> Lemon, Texas Hold'em. Uh, the, literally the worst hand. Literally <laughs> the worst hand you can have because you can't make a straight with it. Wow, a harbinger of <laughs> things to come, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say it's worse if they're not suited. Let's I'm, do that. Uh -oh. That's <laughs> a worse hand. Oh, really? There, so I just so keep getting suited. dealt the worst hand. I'm yeah. used to that kind of thing, though, to be honest with you. Getting Although I think this is probably a worse hand because there's absolutely nothing you can do with that. Really? Did I just get dealt the three worst hands in the history of cards yes, in a row? Yes. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. I know. I'm sorry. No, oh, that's uh, that's. You're the worst dealer, is what the it is. The worst dealer. I know. Can cool. I? Can I get? Let's let's play one round. But I want to. play. Okay, we're gonna play a round. We're gonna go to commercial, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Stick around. Okay. We're going to commercial. Going on here, Sharon? Okay, if a five or, or a six or a heart comes, yeah. you win. Okay. If a ten comes, you're gonna win. Well, I'm all in. Or an ace comes, I'm you win because you have the in. ten kicker. All We're in. all all in, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> the only way I can win is an eight, and there's only two left. Okay. Lay it down, baby. All right. E oh. oh. <laughs> Who wins? He Me. wins. <laughs> oh, Andy wins. All right. Ooh, with Andy. nothing. <laughs> he wins with nothing. Oh my gosh. Too bad we weren't playing with real money. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's a blast. Uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for <laughs> coming for to the show tonight, Thanks for having me on. This was I fun. I appreciate it. Andy, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, who do I cash these into? Sure. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> who do I cash these into? I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> it was good to see you again. Though. You okay. too. Good night, everybody. We will see you tomorrow. Andy Dick, Shannon thank Elizabeth, you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks, Tom. Good night. Thanks. Let's, let's uh, not fall on the ladder.